All right, welcome. So for today's video, I thought I'd talk about some things that I wish I knew before coming to Northeastern. With college admissions coming up, I hope that this video helps you out with deciding whether or not Northeastern is the school for you. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna make this video mostly specific to Northeastern, but if you wanna see a video of more general tips for college, um, if this video gets 50 likes, I'll make a part two. So the first thing I wish I knew about Northeastern was the dining plan options. So at Northeastern, you're required to have a 12, at least a 12 meal plan when you attend. Here are the prices right here. The meal plan prices are pretty expensive. Um, my biggest advice for you is definitely switch to a 12. Um, they preset you to a 17 meal plan, but you can switch to it at least a minimum 12 as a freshman. And this is about $1,000 cheaper. And to be honest with you, you don't need 17 meal swipes. You don't need unlimited meal swipes. Especially if you have a fridge or a kitchen in your dorm, you can just snack or find alternative meals throughout the day. But there are a lot of options around Boston and just the price of the meals, like if you divide the meal plan out, the prices are a bit expensive. So I definitely recommend reducing your meal plan to 12 meals before you come here. All right, so the next point I wanna to touch upon is AP and transfer credits. Um, so before coming to Northeastern, I'd recommend that you check which courses you can transfer for um, credits, and that way you'll be able to test out or get out of most of the general classes you might need for your major. So one of the things Northeastern offers is called NU Accelerate. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Basically, you're able to take some asynchronous classes before you actually start your first semester here at Northeastern, and it's a great way just to get out of some general courses that you might need later in the future. Um, also, in the past, Northeastern has offered challenge exams. I don't know if they're offering them this year again, but basically challenge exams are exams which you can take in replacement of AP exams. The good thing about them is they're free, and it's just one exam. If you pass, you get credit for the class and you don't have to take it for the semester, which is great. Yeah, so I did take a couple of challenge exams before coming to Northeastern and they really helped me get credit for some classes which I didn't take the AP exams for. So I definitely recommend it if they offer those. So the third thing I wish I knew about Northeastern before coming here is the tunnel system. The tunnel system has actually just been on the news recently. Um, they gave a pretty in-depth tour of what the tunnel system is, so I'll link it in the description. But basically, Northeastern has these underground tunnels where you're able to navigate to your classes without having to go outside. The benefit of this is you're able to get to your classes much quicker and you can avoid all the traffic in between classes. I found these tunnels really helpful throughout my semesters because most of my classes were in the basement and also I could just avoid traffic and get there on time. Definitely recommend using the tunnels when you're here. All right, the fourth point I wanna make is in regards to your classes. Um, I honestly think that a professor can make or break your class and it really affects your experience, whether you enjoy the class or not. So um, my biggest recommendation is to use Rate My Professors, um, which has a lot of student reviews where you're able to see um, what students have thought about this professor in the past. Also, when you're enrolling for classes for your first year, you don't really have the option of choosing your courses, but later on, um, I definitely recommend using Trace. It's basically the evaluation system that Northeastern uses for their professors, and you're, you're able to read through all the past students who, who've written reviews for the professor and just get feedback on whether or not you'd wanna take the class or not. I think it's a great tool to use just to check on student feedback. And uh, one of the things that I wish I knew about Northeastern before is um, office hours are really helpful. Definitely recommend going to office hours if you're ever stuck with any concepts or need any additional help from the professors. Usually in large lecture halls, it's tough to get answers to some of the questions you might have. And office hours are a great, great way just to get to know your professors better. So the last point I wanna make about Northeastern is about all the opportunities there are around campus for you to be involved in something, whether that is student organizations, Greek life, club sports, there's pretty much something for everyone. Um, also, there's a lot of research opportunities and being in Boston, you're around so many great people. Um, biggest advice is to put yourself out there, um, take advantage of the clubs and the opportunities there are around campus. 
I, I mean, for me, it was tough for me to step outside of my comfort zone. But once I did step out of my comfort zone and I was able to meet so many people who I would have probably never met if um, I just didn't take the chance. What's great about Northeastern is that the school's, I'd say the school's very career oriented. And if you ever need help, there's always resources for you, um, whether that be tutoring, professors, peer mentoring. I guess my advice is just to join clubs and take advantage of all the opportunities around campus because there's so many. Those were all the points that I had for things that I wish I knew before coming to Northeastern. There's a lot more things that I wish I knew before coming into college. So if you want to see a part two, if this video gets 50 likes, I'll put that out. Coming to Northeastern has been great so far. Um, I've really enjoyed the community, really enjoyed all the experiences that I've had so far and all the amazing people I've met. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or DM me, my Instagram's right here. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck with the whole college process. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, video's coming weekly, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. My love's like a black hole, sun so bright when it burns, so dark when it's done. So hard to relate to one when I find myself tripping off that blind.